Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can change the color of grass here inside of Minecraft from this to something different like that. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers, so make sure you hit that subscribe. That'll help get this channel going. And take a look at my channel for a lot more Minecraft videos. Changing the grass color is actually pretty easy here inside of Minecraft. You just need to work on one file, and I'll show you how that's done. Let's switch over to the desktop. We'll set up our custom resource pack, and then we'll change the color of the grass. I've set up a new folder here on my hard drive for doing this project in. It's inside my custom texture packs folder. I just made a new folder and named it color map, and we'll build our texture pack right over here. Let's first take a look and see what we need. We also need to grab a couple of files. So let's go over here and I'm just going to use this standard file window and then type in percent app data percent. There we go. And go into the top folder here. It should say dot Minecraft. Go into that. Come down to versions down here and then find the version that you're playing. Right now I'm playing the 16.2 right here, 1.16.2. Let's go inside of that. And then here's the jar file. So let's right drag that over here and I'll choose copy. There we go. Let's just hide that. Now this is just a zip file. So I'm going to change this to dot zip. There we are. And choose yes. We can now just look inside this just by opening this up. So I'll double click on that. And inside here, a couple things. First, we'll be working with an assets folder. Let me show you that location here. We'll go inside of assets and then inside of Minecraft inside of textures right down here and inside of color map and we need this folder structure and these two files we'll be working with the grass file down here the foliage is used for trees and grass is used for grass but we'll work with the grass one the same trick applies to the foliage let me bring back up our working folder right here so in here if we look at this top up here we need to recreate this file structure so let's make a new folder and i'll call this one assets there we go that's that one let's open this one up we need a new folder here called Minecraft. Let's open this one up and then a new folder named Textures. There we go. And then inside here, a new folder called Color Map. Okay, and inside of this one, we need to copy these two files over. I'll just click and then right drag those over here and choose Copy. There's a copy of these two files. We'll be using this one for this project. Okay, that's taken care of. Let's now go back to our color map working folder right here. And in here, I'm going to back up to the contents of that zip file right there. There's that assets folder. We need two more files out of this location. If I scroll way down, I'll just pull way down like this. We need the pack MC meta file and also the pack PNG. And they're right there. There we go. Pack MC meta and pack PNG. I'll right drag those over here as well and copy. There we go. Okay, now I'm done with this zip file. We can actually delete that at this point. It's no longer needed. There we go. Okay, so this is the basics then for setting up this new resource pack for our color map. Let's go into the pack MC Meta. All you need to do here is just to change the description to whatever you want to call this thing. I'll just call it new color map and choose save. There we go. Now the pack PNG right down here, this is just the standard graphic that shows inside of the list of texture packs. If you want to change it to something else, that's fine. I'll leave it like this though, just for this discussion. Okay, and we're all set with our assets and right there. Now I'll bring up my favorite program for working on graphics here inside of Minecraft, and that is Photoshop Elements. You can use any program you want to do this. This is a real simple trick. It doesn't take anything special to do this. So I'll just bring up Photoshop Elements and we'll open this up over in that program. Here we are inside of Photoshop Elements. Let me just open up that file, do file open. And it's that one right there, the grass.png, and choose open. There we go. Now all this is is a 256 by 256 square, and it's a PNG file format that has this gradient down here. Now the top part, this is just ignored by Minecraft. It's only working with the bottom part down here. And what it does is it chooses an area in here that corresponds to the biome that you're looking in and also the altitude. So it's kind of a, a graph with the biome and the altitude. And different biomes, different altitudes, will use different parts of this in here depending upon the programming in the game. So all we need to do is just to change the color in this area. Now it's real easy to do. I'm just gonna make a new layer up here. Click on my new layer button. There we go, a new layer. 
There's a neat little trick that will make this even easier here inside of Photoshop Elements. Other programs can do this same kind of a thing. It's using a layer mask. And for that, I'm going to grab my magic wand, and then I'll come down here to the layer zero. I'll click on the right-hand side. That selects the white area. I'll then invert that so it's the opposite, so that this area down here is now selected. And then I'll go up here, and I'll hit the layer mask button. That just makes a layer mask, and that just hides this section. You know, anything is fine. You can just make this all white, colored in later, and just work with down here. This is just a trick you can do here in Photoshop Elements. Okay, let's go here to the left-hand side, and we just need to put a gradient in here. As you can see here, it's kind of bright up here and kind of fades out down there. It's kind of brownish in here, orangish, and goes to greenish up here. Your brighter colors are on this end, so your warmer environments are over in here, and your cooler ones are down in here. Again, this kind of picks different areas depending upon the biome and the altitude. The main thing to keep in mind is that we need a gradient in here for this, and I'll be putting in one that's just going to show this difference very dramatically in the game. So here's a gradient, and I have one right down here. It's just this kind of pastel rainbow effect. If I come down here to Spectrums, it's that one right here inside of my gradient editor. Again, it goes from blue down to green, and there's a lot of color change in here, so this will be easy to see in the game once you put this in. And I'll just pull straight down, and that puts in this gradient just like that. So there we go, that's our gradient recolor. Let's now save this. I'll just do File, Save. I'll save it to the Photoshop file first. That way I can come back later on and make changes if I feel like it. And let's now save this out as a PNG file. File, Save As and PNG. There's the two files. I want to save it as that one right there. Now the exact same trick again can be used on the foliage. This takes care of most of your trees. will be on that one there. Okay, choose save and yes. There we go. Let's now go back to our folder structure and zip that up into the final resource pack. There it is. Let's now just back up to the color map folder, our working folder right here. We've already changed the pack.mc meta I'll leave the pack.png alone for this discussion. We just need to zip all these together. I'm just going to drag a selection around that. And to use the Windows Zip program to do this, go up to Share, click on Zip. And we need just to rename this one. I'll call it Color Map. There we go, Color Map New. That's fine. Now this goes over into our Resource Pack folder. Let me just bring that up. So here's a folder that has that jar file in it. Let's just back up. There's the versions and back up one more. There's Minecraft. And then in here, go up where it says resource packs right there. Just double click on that. And here's your resource pack folder. All we need to do is just to take this and then right drag it over here and choose copy. And that copies it into our resource packs folder. Okay, that's all done. We can now go ahead and load up Minecraft and see how that looks. Okay, here we are at the title screen for Minecraft. Let's go into Options right there and Resource Packs. Let me just take out this one here I showed you at the beginning of the video. Click that arrow. There we are. And then we want to have the color map new. It's right down there. That one. Click the arrow. Brings it over here. There is that change description that I did where it says new color map right there. And we're all set. Let's go ahead and click on Done. This will then load up Minecraft. And we can then launch into our game. Done again. Single player. There's the game right there, and now it's going to load in this game with that new texture pack. And there we are. There's that nice kind of ugly brown color. Let me show you where this is changing. I'll just go into flying mode here. I'm in creative, and let's just change our viewpoint here. And if we fly off this direction, we'll be able to see how this biome changes the coloration based upon that texture pack. And there we go. There is the colors changing right there based upon that new gradient effect. So pretty easy. As you can see, there's not that much to make that color change. There's kind of a brown down there, more of a green up here in the middle, and obviously there's kind of a pinkish thing over in there. Now to change the trees, you just do the exact same trick, but on that other file. Okay, we'll go back to our home base here. One last little thing I wanted to point out to you, a couple of things actually, right down here, those are just some saplings. There's a, they're being controlled by this color map as well. And there's some grass over in here is being controlled by the color map, some more saplings. You can see right here, there's a different biome up there and the grass is a darker green and there's more of this kind of a brownish thing down here. So that's controlled. So there we go. That is changing the grass color inside of Minecraft. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also click on share and subscribe. 
I'm trying to get up to 100,000 subscribers so I can keep this channel going all the time. And if you subscribe, that's going to really, really help. If everybody subscribes, we can get there real fast. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll hit that 100,000 subscribers. And check out my channel for more Minecraft videos. And I'll see you next time.